Today, I'm excited to share our latest breakthrough in natural language understanding, Lambda. It's a language model for dialogue applications. And it's open domain, which means it's designed to converse on any topic. And while it's still in research and development, we've been using it internally to explore novel interactions. For example, say you wanted to learn about one of my favorite pl planets, Pluto. Lambda already understands quite a lot about Pluto and millions of other topics. Let's listen to a conversation the team had with Pluto a few days ago. I'm so curious about you. I sense your excitement. Ask me anything. Tell me what I would see if I visited. You would get to see a massive canyon, some frozen icebergs, geysers, and some craters. It sounds beautiful. I assure you it is worth the trip. However, you need to bring your coat, because it gets really cold. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, I was wondering, have you ever had any visitors? Yes, I have had some. The most notable was New Horizons, the spacecraft that visited me. That must have been exciting. The team that created New Horizons was very excited to see me. I also sent them back a picture of myself since I had not been seen up close before. That's so great. What else do you wish people knew about you? I wish people knew that I am not just a random ice ball. I am actually a beautiful planet. Well, I think you're beautiful. I am glad to hear that. I don't get the recognition I deserve. Sometimes people refer to me as just a dwarf planet. Don't let it bother you. You're amazing. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Thanks for talking with me. Anytime, I am always open for people to chat. I hope you have a great day. I spent some time with my son conversing with Pluto, and it's magical. We had a lot of fun learning about space together. Let's break down what made it feel so natural. First, learn concepts. As you saw, the model talked about the New Horizon spacecraft and the coldness of space. Lambda synthesized these concepts from its training data. These concepts were not hand-programmed in the model. Because none of the responses were predefined, Lambda answered with sensible responses, keeping the dialogue open-ended. Natural conversations are generative, and they never take the same path twice. And Lambda is able to carry a conversation no matter what we talk about. You can have another conversation without retraining the model. Let's see what happened when we talked to a paper airplane. What's it like being thrown through the air? It's quite the experience, actually. The wind blowing against you and the trees flying past are quite the sight. You never know where you'll land either. What's the worst place you've ever landed? That would have to be in a puddle. I was just barely still intact, so I was stuck there for a few minutes. It was quite annoying. Oh, that sounds awful. Were you able to fly again? Thankfully, I was. I had a few minor injuries to my wing, but you can't really tell unless you know what to look for. What's the secret to a really good paper airplane? Well, my good friend, I must first ask you to specify what you mean by good. Some may think it's how far it goes, some may think it's how straight it goes, and some may think it's how flat it lands. So what do you think? I care the most about distance. Then I would have to say a nice wide wing span is what you'll want. Also, the paper needs to be really firm. What's the farthest you've ever flown? I've flown over about 1,500 feet. The wind was perfect that day. Wow, that's really far. That must have been quite a throw. It's really impressive to see how Lambda can carry on a conversation about any topic. It's amazing how sensible and interesting the conversation is. Yet, it's still early research, so it doesn't get everything right. Sometimes, it can give nonsensical responses. Imagining Pluto doing flips, or playing fetch with its favorite ball, the moon. 
Other times, it just doesn't keep the conversation go going. At Google, we have been researching and developing language models for many years. We have focused on ensuring Lambda meets our incredibly high standards on fairness, accuracy, safety, and privacy. So from concept all the way to design, we are making sure it's developed consistent with our AI principles. We believe Lambda's natural conversation capabilities have the potential to make information and computing radically more accessible and easier to use. We look forward to incorporating better conversational features into products like Google Assistant, Search, and Workspace. We're also exploring how to give capabilities to developers and enterprise customers. Today, we are excited to announce Lambda 2, our most advanced conversational AI yet. We are at the beginning of a journey to make models like these useful to people, and we feel a deep responsibility to get it right. And to make progress, we need people to experience the technology and provide feedback. We opened Lambda up to thousands of Googlers who enjoyed testing it and seeing what it was capable of. This yielded significant quality improvements and led to a reduction in inaccurate or offensive responses. That's why we have made AI Test Kitchen. It's a new way to explore AI features with a broader audience. Inside the AI Test Kitchen, there are a few different experiences. Each is meant to give you a sense of what it might be like to have Lambda in your hands and use it for things you care about. The first is called Imagine It. This demo tests if the model can take a creative idea, you give it, and generate imaginative and relevant descriptions. These are not products. They are quick sketches that allow us to explore what Lambda can do with you. As you see, the user interfaces are very simple. Say you're writing a story and you need some inspirational ideas. Maybe one of your characters is exploring the deep ocean. You can ask what that might feel like. Here, Lambda describes a scene in the Mariana Trench. It even generates follow-up questions for you on the fly. You can ask Lambda to imagine what kind of creatures might live there. Remember, we didn't hand program the model for specific topics like submarines or bioluminescence. It synthesized these concepts from its training data. That's why you can ask about almost any topic, Saturn's rings, or even imagine being on a planet made of ice cream. <laughs> Staying on topic is a challenge for language models. Say you're building a learning experience. You want it to be open-ended enough to allow people to explore where curiosity takes them, but stay safely on topic. Our second demo tests how Lambda does with that. In this demo, we have primed the model to focus on the topic of dogs. It again starts by generating a question to spark conversation. Have you ever wondered why dogs love to play fetch so much? And if you ask a follow-up question, you get an answer with some relevant details. It's interesting. Uh, it thinks uh, it might have something to do with the sense of smell and treasure hunting. You can take the conversation any way you want. Maybe you're curious about how smell works, and you just want to dive deeper. You'll get a unique response for that, too. No matter what you ask, it'll try to keep the conversation on the topic of dogs. If I start asking about cricket, which I probably would, the model brings the topic back to dogs in a I do think dogs would miss. <laughs> now, the challenge of staying on topic is a tricky one. It's an important area of research for building useful applications with language models. And this last demo is my favorite, so we're going to do it live. Let me turn it over to Josh. Thanks, Sundar. As a team, we've learned a lot on this project. And this will be the first ever live demo of Landa from stage. Are you all ready to see how it works? <laughs> all right, here I am in the AI Test Kitchen app. I'm going to open up this demo called Listit. Now, Listit explores if Lambda can take a complex goal or topic and break it down into relevant subtasks. It can help me figure out what I'm trying to do and generate useful ideas I might not have thought of. If you love to-do lists like I do, 
This is a dream come true. I'm going to tap start, and this is a project I've been thinking a lot about lately. Plant a vegetable garden. I'll send this off to Lambda, and there it is. On the fly, it's come up with these different steps and broken it down into this list of subtasks. I can see things like make a list of what I want to grow, the location. I can also regenerate a list on the fly to get even more ideas. Now, what's interesting about these is I can quickly drop into one of them. Let's say this one, like what might grow in the area. And you can see it will give me further suggestions. I can keep going, breaking this down, where eventually it gives me a list of what I might want to plant, like tomatoes or lettuce or garlic. We'll keep garlic out of it this time. One of the other things Lambda does is not just break down lists, but you can generate a tip. So here, when I tap generate a tip, oh, it's never seen this one before, actually. It's telling me if I have a small yard or patio, it gives me different vegetables I might be able to grow. Now, when we think about products like this and experiences like this, it's much more than just coming up with a list of vegetables to grow. If I scroll back up, you can see all the different pathways that Land is helping me think through and giving me tips along the way. And just like that, this whole task feels a lot less daunting. Back to you, Sundar. Thanks, Josh. Just like the other demos, you can input all kinds of goals, whether it's moving to a new city or learning an instrument. These experiences show the potential of language models to one day help us with things like planning, learning about the world, and more. Of course, there are significant challenges to solve before these models can truly be useful. While we have improved safety, the model might still generate inaccurate, inappropriate, or offensive responses. That's why we are inviting feedback in the app so people can help report problems. And we'll be doing all of this work in accordance with our AI principles. Our process will be iterative, opening up access over the coming months, and carefully assessing feedback with a broad range of stakeholders, from AI researchers and social scientists to human rights ex experts. We'll incorporate this feedback into future versions of Lambda and share our findings as we go.